Hey, happy summer. H&W Podcast here. And I am so, so sorry about, you know, the whole school year, not being able to get any new videos out for pretty much the entire winter, minus the, the fun snowball and drug lane. But it's summer now, and I can finally get more videos out that I've been thinking about doing for the entire school year. So let's just get started. Uh, what this video is going to be is five tricks that you can do with the saw. So to start everybody off on the same page, I want to just have everybody know what the saw is. Well, the saw, I've heard it go by several different names. Uh, the bicycle for one. Um, but the saw is pretty much you take the stick, and rather than it being in front of you, like they are for most tricks, like an airplane, and, you know, stuff like that, instead, it's brought to the side in front of you. And this is one of the major milestones for someone learning how to uh, devil stick. This video will be five tricks that you can learn, all based around this trick here. Okay, so I'm going to be lame for number one. Number one is the saw. And I'll go, like I said, I'll go more into this. You can click here onto the video to see my one video just set up to learn how to do the saw. But I'll do some basics right here. When you're going into the saw, you're going to start into your idle, whatever idle you choose to do. And then, instead, there are several ways to do it, but the way I'm going to show you is you're going to take it, and you're going to take either your right or left hand stick, depending on what you feel more comfortable with, and bring it in front, and go straight into the saw. This is facing forward. If you want to see it to the side, it'll simply be, you take it, bring it to the front, and now you're rotating, and you're going to move your hands in tiny circles forward, and every time it rolls off one hand stick, it goes off to the next, so there it is a little bit slower. So, what you're doing is you're moving your hands, in a sense, like this. Kind of like you're pedaling a bike with your hands. And all you're doing is you're keeping it within the two sticks, keeping it near the center, and that way you're able to have it rotate in a circle. And in some cases, it's actually easier than having it just spin around one like you do during the airplane. Obviously, learn a trick, now you have to learn how to do it one hand. So, you have your saw, you can straighten the saw. And then this is actually very similar to the airplane. You're just going to take one hand out, keep doing the motion, and there you have it one hand and saw, which I'd like to know, do it the other way, it's exactly the same as the airplane, except you move yourself to the side. It's a little bit more difficult of a motion, because you're scooping inward for this one. You can also scoop outward if you're having it rotate the other direction. But in many senses, it's very similar to the airplane. You've just moved yourself, your body, where it is. And then you can go right back into the saw by putting it before I do number three, I want to note one thing that you've been doing with the saw is you begin and you're holding your hands like this in a fist almost. And when you have it in a fist like that, you're putting it forward and you're holding both hands in the fist going forward. The knuckles are down and you're rotating it like that. That's the standard saw. Number three is they're going to make everything harder and you take it and you flip it over the other way. So this way, your hand is facing upwards toward the sky, you're holding it up. Same trick, same saw, except both hands are now facing upwards instead of downwards. From the side, looks like this. It actually is a little bit more difficult than doing it the normal way, but with practice, this actually becomes a very efficient way of doing it, and I believe it looks a little bit more impressive than the standard saw. Number four is a trick that I've heard called the Egyptian buzzsaw. I honestly don't know what the trick's actually called, but I'm going to refer to it as the Egyptian buzzsaw because that's how it was introduced to me. And what it is, is you need to learn how to do it both forward, the normal way, hands facing down, and then the augmented way, hands facing up, like that. And what the Egyptian buzzsaw is, is you'll combine both of them. So, what we're going to be doing, we're going to start out with our normal way of doing the saw, facing down. We're going to take the right hand, we're going to flip to the up position. Then we're going to take the left hand, still in the saw, flip to the up position. And then we're going to take the right hand, we're going to flip to the down position. Then we're going to take the left hand, flip to the down position. And then, what you'd want to do is every rotation, you're going to want to have to flip it. Of course, this will take a lot of practice. You're still doing the saw, you do 
the right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, over and over again. And finally, number five, which some people may argue, oh, that's not a saw trick. But it is in saw position. It is having the devil stick in front of you, standard saw. And it's what I call a saw idol. I really don't have a name for it, but what, what the saw idol is, is it's like your standard one-handed full tic-tac idol, like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to simply do that in saw position. So the example of that is I'll go into my saw, just like that. And then I'll take one hand out and start doing the idol. But instead the devil sticks in front of me. And then you can go right back into your saw. So those are five tricks that you can learn to better yourself in how to do saw and saw position tricks. Uh, which I think these are some of the best saw tricks. They're some of the easiest, but saw in itself is very difficult. Uh, thank you for watching this video and please be sure to check out, if you're interested in this video, uh, check out my other double stick tutorial videos that you can find on the channel, HNW Podcast. And then if you're interested in the saw, I have, once I get it up, There'll be a little annotation here for YouTube, and you can click that.